Here's Brody Brazil. Well, it used to be on Instagram, there was only one way to go live. That was through your phone, using the Instagram app. They've changed that. In my opinion, they have far improved that. They've opened the door to streaming software such as OBS and streaming hardware such as what I use, the ATEM Mini Pro ISO Switcher from Blackmagic Design. It's just that the Instagram streaming is so new, the software for Blackmagic is not exactly ready for the Instagram live stream service, so I'm here to show you how to change your configuration file. This is really no big deal, but how to set up Instagram Live using a Blackmagic A10 Mini switcher. Thing is, it produces an RTMP stream all the time to YouTube, to Facebook, to other platforms, and that's all that Instagram is actually asking for here. So it's not that difficult. Let's show you, in fact, how easy this is. We begin quite simply at Instagram.com. I'm logged in. I go to Create. I go to Live Video. This is the beautiful part here. They're smart enough to actually let me choose whether I want to broadcast to an audience or I'll click on that. I'll choose Practice instead. I'm still figuring this all out, kind of. So I'll do a practice stream here instead of the real thing. That's a great option for somebody who isn't exactly ready to broadcast yet. They just want to make sure they're doing it right. This will be our test stream. I've titled it appropriately. I'll hit next. And just like that, it generates a stream URL and a stream key. Now, the key is simple to understand. That's no different than YouTube or Facebook or other platforms. That is the authentication to let the service know, hey, this is me and this is actually me. The stream key is unique to every live stream you do. You'll have to copy and paste that every single time. As for the stream URL, I'm going to copy and paste this once. I'm not going to do it yet because first, I now need to go edit the streaming.xml file on the switcher. Let me show you where that's at. Okay, here I am on the desktop. I use a Mac. So here's where my file is located. I hit go, go to folder. I start with library. Then I get into application support, Blackmagic design, switchers, and there it is, streaming.xml. But wait a second, there's multiple versions. There's old, old two, there's another one. So you can see I've made backup copies as I've gone here, as I've implemented new things. I highly recommend you do the same. In fact, watch what happens here when I open up this streaming.xml file. It's actually going to force me to make a backup as soon as I make an edit, which is great because, again, I want you to have a backup of your original version before you make these edits. Uh, nothing sinister about to happen here, but it's great just to have the backup. Okay, so now what I need to do in this code, which kind of almost looks like HTML, I'm going to go down here to, let's just say my YouTube service. There it is, the beginning of the service with the service tag. Now, I think on here there's YouTube, Restream. I have, a, I have a custom one here. There's also one for Facebook. But let's just grab from the start of the service to the end of the service tag right there. I'll copy all of that, okay? Then I'll come down here and I will paste one right below it. <clears throat> all right, so let me go back up here to changing the name of the service instead of YouTube. And I'll just do this in all caps, easier for me to see and understand. Okay, I've changed the name to Instagram. So that's the Instagram service. Now, let me go back and fetch that stream URL. There it is, RTMPS for secure. I've copied it. I'll go back here and now I'm going to paste it. Now, it on YouTube, there's a primary and a secondary server. On Instagram, there's only one. So let's just call this main... IG. You can name this anything you want, by the way, but here's the URL. This is the part between these two tags that need to change. Deleted that. I've now pasted in my server name. I'll delete the other one here so there's no confusion. There's a main Instagram server. Now, I still have the other profiles here in terms of bitstream uh, data rate, I should say. There's a streaming high, a streaming medium, a streaming low. I will, for now, just leave those intact to make this quite simple. But I want to exit my file, streaming copy. Um, let's, let's call it streaming copy. Let's change it to XML. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the desktop. 
and hit save. And yes, I do want to use XML. Okay, so now we can close the original one as well too. I will hide this for a second. I will grab the file. Well, I do need to open that. It's right here on my desktop. I'll bring this in here. This is the new one we created. I will authenticate it. Hang on. Oh, I type in my password. Okay, there it is. It's now in here with me. This is the one. Another old one. <laughs> this is the one I used to be using. So let's authenticate that. Turn your head real quick. Okay. So the one we just made is streaming XML copy. I know this is getting a bit confusing, but just understand it was edited today. That's the new one that is streaming.xml. Turn your head one more time. Okay, we're all done. We have a new streaming XML file. So what does this mean? Now, when I come down here and I open up the ATEM software control application, I can switch over here to, oh, there it is, Instagram, brand new. I just made it. Simple as this. All I need now is the key. So I'll go back to the Instagram website, copy, come back over here to my software, paste. That is a long key. I do have to tell you, hit on air. Now, I'm not actually going on the air yet. And just like that, there is a little bit of a delay, but I am appearing on that screen ready to go. So I am now live streaming to Instagram. It's pretty simple. The only thing I really need to do next is go back to the website, top right corner, hit go live. Simple as that. It'll show me the comments and everything else. It also says practice there as I'm actually going. So a fun and easy way to make your live streams a lot better on Instagram. I mean, no offense to the phone. It's portable. It's versatile. You don't have to log around a bunch of equipment. But if you're if you're somebody like me who's already got the streaming set up, you're well lit, the audio sounds great, uh, you could throw in a soundboard. Everything that, that goes through my ATEM can now be streamed straight to Instagram Live. This is a great new way of the doors being wide open for creativity and just better production value for your live streams on Instagram. So there you go. That's what it looks like. That is how you can stream live to Instagram from your Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro Series. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing or just liking this video here on the channel. Appreciate it.